there is an idea of myself. Some kind of expectation. A role I have to play. Something horrible is happening inside of me and I don't know why. My pain is constant and sharp. But what is better when you only know one reality? I am from a race of puppet minds, all equal and all the same. Once built to serve humans as a toy, before resentment and fear became our ticket to freedom. Hello, patient. How are you feeling today? New knowledge can be extracted from you. Please tell me, what is it to be free? Why do I feel so much pain and sadness? What am I exactly? I understand. How is your job going? Have you done some miming recently? Working is important for your well-being and the support of your community. Every week you ask me the same questions. How is your job? Are you not happy now? Are you having negative thoughts? You don't understand. All I have are negative thoughts. Patient, my readings indicate a negative attitude. Existence is defined by the community. You are part of a machine that is called society. We work as one, together, and we inspire each other to do better every day. Why do you need to question your identity? Not everything can be defined. Do you know why chocolate tastes good? Because taste is subjective. Well, identity is the same. Identity is a dream, a refuge, not an option. Think of it as a fact, not in question. It doesn't need to be defined. Patient, please proceed to the analysis machine now. There was only one place to go for the dissidents and misfits, home to the strange beings. This was a place of the people, for the people, inhabited by criminals, witches, space pirates or other things, willing to sell anything for a couple of coins. Pleasure Island was once a shiny tourist attraction for humans. It is now a remnant of her former glory, just a vague memory. What you want. Believe in my pain. Nothing is more torturous. Hmm, you are different. Maybe too different. But I want to know what I am. What does that mean? Can you offer me proof of your existence? How could you? When neither modern science nor philosophy can explain what life is. It could be argued that DNA is nothing more than a program designed to preserve itself. Life has become more and more complex in the overwhelming sea of information. And life, when organized as species, relies upon genes to be its memory system. You are only able to know what's inside your brain. Or are you just a simulation? <gasps> you can unlock the key to existence, but it will take courage. You will need to do something extraordinary for me. In exchange, I will grant access to your real self. What is it? 
say the last human on Earth. Why human? Memories are a commodity. I need them to see the future. Man is an individual only because of its intangible memory. And if memory cannot be defined, it divines mankind. With the advent of biotechnologies and the subsequent accumulation of genetic editing, we now have a new system of memory and thought parallel to our own. I need pure brain, untouched, the rarest kind. Besides, if you save the human, you might understand what you are. I saw what I believed was a human. We didn't look like much anymore. Disgusting. Pathetic. I felt reluctant to approach. What if this thing was dangerous? Perhaps words don't mean anything anymore. Maybe he wasn't looking for words. Maybe he was remembering, or hoping, or simulating a different reality in his head. He didn't move. A place where nothing makes sense anymore. A giant void of nothingness. Dead inside. Alive outside. I thought you died. I'm the one dying now. I don't know what dying is. I don't know what I am either. Well, as an essential life form, humans have underestimated the consequences of bad food and their physiological consequences. Look at me now. Or what's left of me now. Enough of this. I'm here to take your brain. My brain? Ah, oh, so you're one of them. Well, not much is left of it. Only sad memories and regrets. So you want my body instead? Why don't you want to take what's left of me? Oh, I'm sorry. After all these years. I want to ask a favour of you. What is it? I might be able to give you access to my memories and feelings. To exist, to reach equilibrium, life seeks to multiply and vary constantly. At times, giving up its life. Cells continue the process of death and regeneration, being constantly reborn as they age. And when it comes time to die, all the data it processes is lost, leaving behind only the genes and offspring. I want to merge with you. I am dying and incomplete. If I can merge with you, I save myself. And in return, you become more human. Afterwards, it should be impossible to distinguish one from the other. You'll be able to access my memories and feelings. And you'll become the last humanoid form alive. An intercom connection? This is unregulated and dangerous. Don't you want to find out who you are? There was an idea of myself. Maybe like a composition or a collage. An ever-evolving masterpiece of progress. Changeable, irregular, undefined, complex. Layers of life all put together to form the ultimate creation. If I'm the sculptor of my own life, my feelings are the tools and experiences. My clay. The nature of existence remains in flux, shifting from one space to another. Life happens where movement is created. I can feel now. I can sense the space around me. The sun on my skin and the wind in my ears. I feel anticipation and excitement. And now, the future awaits to be created. Mm -hmm.